Hi there, sign of Cancer. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. The messages are channeled. That's from your spirit team, your spirit, and you know, that has your guides, your angels, your everything. So um, yeah, your spirit team with the assistance of mine, more than likely. So getting into this reading, opening up, grounding myself, Connecting to the sign of cancer. If you're here and you do like this, please hit like and subscribe. That helps out. All right, cancer, what messages do we have for you? Hermetic tarot, by the way. What is the issue? What's the issue at hand for cancer? Ooh. Well, I can say don't be too downtrodden. Don't be so down on yourself um, that all we can think of are negative things. Don't do that to yourself with the Nine of Swords. Um, there are answers coming in. These swords are old and bent and they're not really useful. They won't help us. So, this may have to do with like um, things being fate or destiny and not feeling like we have any say so in something, but you do. Your um, challenge is the Nine of Swords. It is uh, that energy of um, freeing yourself from any kind of like anxiety. There's no has to, nothing has to look a certain way. Let go of expectation of how you expect something to be delivered to you. And that's part of your solution already. And then you make more room energetically. You clean the clutter, making room for your answer. The Queen of Cups is probably your answer. It's a challenge. So taking really good care of yourself, loving yourself enough to make the necessary changes or additions such as exercise possibly and good health. Um, taking care of yourself, really loving yourself to want to be around for those that love you. Tell me what's at the heart of the matter here. Maybe there's a health thing that we not, we're not sure how to tackle th this. It might be more of a, well, I don't want to say that because it's not. But there, look and check out um, chakra opening and um, issues, symptoms, feelings. They call them so many things from ascension symptoms to... I believe it's probably a lot of kundalini awakening too. Um, that can cause some issues within blocks or chakras that need work on them. <clears throat> you got the Six of Pentacles, the Lord of Material Success coming in. Exchanging gifts. You giving to others, they giving back, them giving back to you, not they them giving back to you. It's reciprocal. It's even exchange. It's cooperation at best too. Make sure there's no catch. Past energy. You also um, have the energy of really needing to be open to re and receptive to messages at this time. Yeah, divine messages, guidance, divine guidance, because it's things that you've been calling in. So make sure to pay pay attention, pay heed to the thoughts. Don't dismiss all thoughts based on judgment. And then I get the last judgment. Um, this could be Sagittarius energy. It's in reverse in the past. There is something I feel like we're placing judgment, um, being critical on something. It really feels like that feeling of, I can't enjoy myself here. It's, I hope that makes sense. But 
it's a feeling of like no matter what I do or what escape I get, I don't like it here. <laughs> I don't like the feeling or something like that with this last judgment in the reverse. Holding on still to something that you don't particularly care for. What is the now moment? The Knight of Swords in the reverse. The now moment might be this, um, oh, it is this uh, ever unfolding things that don't end, perpetual stagnation, it feels like. I'm going to say that even though it sounds terrible. It feels like we're uh, running in place or we're practicing, but it's time to actually get on the horse and be focused here. The energy of like not wanting to go at all <laughs> is coming across to me. Not wanting to go forward at all and not having much focus because of the Nine of Swords energy that you're allowing into your space. It's taking up, it's cluttering where you could have some really great inspirational channelings coming in for you so what is the future energy looking like it's looking like the ace of swords truth or clarity is going to come in somehow some way it comes in um it's the beginning of the air the set of air which is uh, usually about the mind um it can be anything so if the goal is truth or clarity then that's good that's what we're wanting um we're about to move towards a better mind space just in this reading, you can change already the outcome because of the mindset. Change your mindset, dramatically improve your results. It says Lord of Earned Success, and we have the Six of Pentacles, which is Lord of Material Success, and the Sun on the bottom there. How nice is that? Lord of Earned Success and Lord of Material Success. You can see that. Yeah. So your thoughts, when those get off balance and we give more attention to the seeds that were for negative thinking, then maybe that needs to be analyzed. And then we kind of squash it when it comes so that it doesn't get, it doesn't build and snowball into something bigger, right? So moving away from a hard time, that's terrific. Different mindset. It can be about an actual distance or journey. This is in your environment. I have the Knight of Wands. Why is that Knight in the reverse too? I might have to get clarifying for this because, I mean, I know how I'm supposed to read that. But... It's like we're too afraid to make a mistake. So we're afraid to go forward because we're just so afraid to make a mistake. I guess that's what it is. But I, do, I still do want to um, clarify because it's there's something else to why those are both here. Meaning you may feel the energy of wanting to move forward, wanting to charge ahead, but not. And, and it may be because of this. So what is the hope or fear? Hope or fear have the two of wands as the hope or fear okay so the focus is what kind of scares us because it's so passion driven there are so many different possibilities but we fear there's only a few paths available to us we fear what we fear of we're thinking of or well, we fear the worst we're thinking of the most so let's undo that get focused back on you know why you're intending to do something, your good intentions. Everybody can have bad. So let's focus on the good. <clears throat> and it does say Lord of Dominion. So there may be something that you're really rising to the top, like as far as competing against somebody else. I'm just getting that for a few people probably. Really creating some magic of your own and it might be part of a new partnership what's the outcome looking like nine of cups well i was going to grab that other one too but i think we'll just take a jumper the nine of cups is your outcome and that is a wish granted 
that is having all of your needs met. It says Lord of material happiness. You quite literally, you got Lord of material success, the nine, which is a almost like an upside down six. And then another Lord of material happiness as your outcome, which granted having chosen things that are good for you. Six of swords, Lord of earned success going away from some kind of five of pentacle energy. And we're... We're going pa we're blowing past that energy and we're getting uh wish granted having some wonderful beautiful thoughts to support us on our journey positively forward that's what i got for you all so um let's get let's get um some little some of the little tarot spacious tarot and go ahead see what these two nights were about <clears throat> Change your mindset first, and then the physical travel will come, is the message. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Being, getting the clarity of how to move forward and be the best that you are in your niche, too. How can you offer something a little bit different than somebody else? And why is yours better? Coming out of a Five of Pentacle energy is exactly what that is. Five of Pentacle in the reverse. And it is this success, whatever this success is. Lord of material success. Lord of earned success. Lord of material happiness. Five of Wands. Five, five. Ah, big change. So, yeah. Um, just because you got a wish granted on the emotional level doesn't mean the material isn't going to look good too with the king of pentacles it's like you're in charge of your uh finances majorly and it might be during a time where it didn't look very promising but you ended up pulling yourself out of this and with practice you just kept getting better and better and better it says practice after a while you'll dance on air practice makes perfect you're almost there and you're getting your fairy wings of course in the forest small lights glow those fairies are flying low and portals where do we play in nature that is where the garden gate will take you there portals this is your portal maybe this is something to do with um uh consciousness and dimension it's ascending um a rekundalini arising in you um whatever it is you're looking really good going towards your truth the truth and wishes granted sending you love and light